Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Core Lust, and this is my response to the Tuber Challenge. Thank you, Scott, for challenging me. Those of you who don't know what the Tuber Challenge is, it's a list of nine questions uh, about reefing, your opinions, and ten being to challenge three other friends. So let's get started. I'll read you question number one. Fish only tank or reef tank? Uh, the fact that I sell coral uh, might have something to do with it, but I definitely choose reef tank just because there's no limit to what you can do. Uh, there's so many different kinds of corals. Why well, have fish only? I mean, you can even add some gorgonias, little LPS. You don't have to just choose SPS or Montipora tank and just stick with that. So, why limit yourself? Number two, soft or hard corals definitely going to say a mix between the two because I love them both. Uh, LPS are my true favorite. SPS, if you go all hard corals, they tend to be a little more challenging and take up some more of your time as if you just go soft corals. So it's definitely uh, an opinion there, personal preference, but I definitely, LPS is my all-time favorite. Uh, I'll take a torch any day of the week. Number three, my favorite coral. Uh, I would say the Elegance is probably one of my favorite corals just because I've seen some pretty amazing ones out there. But it's a hard call because everything has its little bit to offer. Um, chalices, egg cans, definitely Euphelias are a big time favorite. So I don't think I could pick just one, but Elegance would be it if I had to narrow it down. Number four, my favorite fish. This is an easy one. I've always been a big fan of the Achilles. Um, but I would love to someday have a cuttlefish, a little emperor cuttle or fancy cuttle or flamboyant, I think they're called cuttlefish. I always thought it would be interesting to have a tank with one of those in it. So if you're going species only, that's a way to go. Very cool. Number five, my least favorite coral. Um, I don't really have a least favorite coral because I like all of them. Uh, maybe something bland, uh, I don't even know what to say. Something invasive I would say is annoying, only if it's invading somewhere that you don't want it. But if you put it somewhere correctly, that invasive coral can be beautiful. So Zenus, star polyps, leather, uh, all those corals that most people would hate, uh, I still find them beautiful. So I don't have a least favorite coral. Number six, my least favorite fish. Right away I think about the blue damsel, but any fish that can become territorial or mean to other fish in your tank would be my least favorite fish. So <laughs> damsels I know from past history, just from adding them in the beginning of my tank, removing them later on was quite difficult, but pretty much any fish can become a jerk. So that's my answer number six, damsel. Number seven, homemade or commercial food? Uh, it, this is a, a question that's definitely based on the person who's making the food. If you know what you're doing, go ahead and make your own. If you don't, leave it to the professionals. Your food is balanced, nutritious uh, meal for your corals or your fish, depending on what you're feeding. So if you make something on your own, you may take out or forget one of those supplements that they need in their diet. So if you're just adding on some additional seaweed or growing something from your refugium or chopping up some sushi for your food, um, for your corals and fish, then that's fine. But a variety is always the best bet. So let's keep it short. Number eight, LED, T5, or metal halide? Um, and this is another, these are all personal preference questions. So LEDs I've had wonderful success with. I don't have to replace the bulbs. And once you understand your power and your ratio between blending and hot spots, then LEDs aren't that bad. They grow really well for the money. Metal halides, a lot of energy and heat, and T5s, you have to replace them. So whatever works for you, keep it up. But my personal preference definitely is LED for the cool factor too. Very awesome, which you can do with LEDs, lights nowadays. Number nine, uh, what would my dream tank be? Definitely it would have to be in the Bahamas. I think it's the Atlantis Hotel Resort there. It's extremely huge. I would love to go scuba diving, snorkeling uh, all the time. So 
something large enough that I can jump in, that would be my dream tank. Number 10, I challenge three other YouTubers. I don't really know any other reefing YouTubers that haven't already done the tuber challenge. So I'm going to leave it up to three random people to choose yourselves and tag Coralust in your videos. Do the tuber challenge and I will send you a $50 gift certificate to be used on our website. No exclusions. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy reefing. Until next time.